Hello everyone, it's Umar bin Hussain. Today we are going to discuss about Chinese stones and some of its rules that every beginner should know. You may have heard that there are four Chinese stones. Let's start by the first one. The first stone is high and flat. Some feel that it sounds robotic because it is monotone. The first tone can also be a bit longer in duration compared to the other three tones. It is represented by a straight horizontal line above a letter in pinion. For example, this is a letter in pinion uh, and this upper horizontal line is representing this first tone. So you can identify the first tone written on any letter. This is first tone. This is the symbol of first tone. This is the symbol of first tone. First tone. First tone. First tone. So now question is how we are going to pronounce it. Our voice should be high and flat. For example, this ma will be pronounced as ma e. You just notice my sound. It is not fluctuating. Ho. Po. Kong, you. So the first tone sounds little high and it's flat. There is no fluctuation. You got it? Okay, let's move towards second tone. The second tone is rising. Some feel that it sounds like you are asking a question like what? Why? Who? Okay. This second tone is represented by a rising line above a letter in pinion. And you can see in tone diagram that second tone is rising. For example, we have second tone here, here, here. So this rising line above a letter in pinion is representing this second tone. And we will pronounce it like Ma, E, Ho, Po. Kong, you, so my voice is rising. Once again, Ma, E, Ho, Po, Kong, you. So the first tone was flat. Ma, second tone is Ma. Okay, now let's move towards third tone. The third tone is low. It is often called falling rising tone or the dipping tone because uh, this tone falls and then rises again. It is represented by a curved dipping line above a letter in pinion. For example, we have letter I and it has third tone. So the third tone is falling first and then rising. So it is just like a curved dipping. Okay, all of these, this one, this one, this one, this, this, and this, all representing third tone. And in tone diagram, you can see that this tone, this third tone, falls initially and then rises. Okay, let's pronounce it. Ma. <laughs> you got the difference between first and second and third tone? <laughs> Maybe confused. Okay, I'm going to be in very, very slow motion. Ma. Ma. So first we have to fall and then we have to rise. E. Ho. Po. Kong. You. Okay. <laughs> Let's move towards fourth tone. The fourth tone starts out high but drops sharply to the bottom of the tonal range. It is a falling tone. To many learners, it sounds angry. Several people say that fourth tone in a row may sound like being an angry to any person. Like, what? You? Why? Okay. So don't be afraid to emphasize the fourth tone by making it sound a little angry. And it is represented by a dropping diagonal line above a letter in pinion. For example, over here you can see that it is fourth tone fourth tone fourth tone you can see the difference between fourth tone and second tone second tone is rising and fourth tone is falling okay let's pronounce it it is ma e ho po kong you <laughs> i'm sure that you got the idea of fourth tone and there is the fifth tone we call it neutral tone and it doesn't have a defined pitch counter and we don't emphasize it regularly like ma 
so it is not clear if we are speaking first second or third tone or fourth tone le pause you know this is second tone but this one don't have any tone in other words it has neutral tone and this one hose this is neutral tone this one has neutral tone let's summarize the tone story we have first tone second third fourth and then a neutral one the first tone is a uh, no fluctuation second tone is rising ah uh, the third tone is falling and then rising ah uh, the fourth tone is falling ah uh, and the neutral one don't have any tone for example we have four tones first second the third and fourth ma 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 an interesting point is that all of these have different meanings <laughs> yes all of these have different meaning you will learn it when you proceed now it's right time to tell you about the three rules of tones the first tone rule is that if there are two third tones together they're going to be converted into second tone and third when there are two third tones in a row the first tone becomes second tone when there are two third tones in a row the first tone is going to become second tone for example ni how these are two third tones so this first tone is automatically going to be converted into second tone it is ni how it also has third tone han how han han how and it is going to be converted into han how it is k e two third tones together so it is going to be converted into k e you got the idea of first rule that if there are two third tones together the first one is going to be converted into second tone let's talk about the rule number 2 and it is that when the word pu precedes a fourth tone pu changes to second tone pu has fourth tone you can see over here by itself but when it precedes a fourth tone it is going to be converted into second tone for example this is pu initially it has fourth tone toe so pu is being preceded by fourth tone again so it will automatically convert it into second tone pu toe pu chu pu ya so you got the idea of pu as well that if pu precedes a fourth tone it is going to be converted into second tone rule number 3 this one is called e meaning 1 E actually has first tone when it is alone. You know, you can see it is first tone. Now the rule is that it will become to second tone when followed by a fourth tone, and fourth tone when followed by any other tone. <laughs> Little bit complex. Okay, we will learn it through examples. Here we have E. It has first tone, and it is joined with fourth tone, so it will be converted into second tone. E go. E G E S and the same is over here. It is being preceded by fourth tone, so it will convert it into second tone. E T and now this E is being preceded by any other tone except fourth. Okay, so it will convert it automatically to fourth tone. E P N E P N same is over here it is followed by a second tone so it will automatically convert it to fourth tone here it is followed by a third tone so it will automatically convert it into fourth tone so concluding it that if it is alone it will have its first tone and if it is followed by a fourth tone it will have second tone and if it is followed by any other tone together then it is going to be fourth tone i hope you got it and now let's practice by speaking these three words so at first step we have to recognize that what is the tone it has third tone falling then rising so it should be shoe speak little fastly shoe it has second tone rising chuang and it has two tones and both are flat first tones so it is fei ji no fluctuation in voice 
cafe G. that's all about our today's lesson i hope that you liked it if so press like button and subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching